what's up, CP Nation? Listen, are you guys struggling to gain mass and put on a lot of muscle? It's probably because you don't have a proper workout routine and you're going to the gym winging it all the time. I tell people all the time, you're not going to get like this if you don't have a structured plan. But what really did it for me, I had my shirt off and I was holding my partner baby and his baby tried to suck my breast. The baby kept going like this. You know how babies open their mouth and do that? Listen, today I'm gonna provide you guys with three workout regimens to help build muscle. And I'm also gonna tell you guys which workout regimen works best for me and how I've been able to put on muscle over the past couple of years. And then after that, you don't wanna miss a crazy back workout routine that I'm going through with Johnny B. So stay tuned and let's get straight into it. First, let's talk about the bro split. So many people use a bro split, especially when they first start training. It's when you're doing a bunch of sets, a bunch of reps, and you're just doing one muscle group per the week. You know, every, everyone starts here. I actually didn't start here because I have a background in football, so my experience was very different. But now, you know, being outside in the gym, seeing other gym people, most gym people start with the bro split where they're training one muscle group per week. You'll train your back, you'll train your chest, you'll train your legs, and that's it. You just, you just have, you're going to the gym and you'll focus on that one body part per week. It's a good start point where most people start at to really help focus and work on their form and their technique. Typically for intermediate and advanced you may need a more intense workout regimen where you're in the gym more days a week and you're focusing on different muscle groups at a time. You also have other workout regimens such as the split workout where you're doing upper body and lower body. Several people who are intermediate to advanced do the split workout routine. That's when you're gonna do a push pull leg split. So you're gonna go three days on and one day off. That's good, especially if you're trying to, you know, really push yourself, but then you're gonna have that that fourth day for recovery. So you're only gonna be doing three days on and one day off, and that's really good for recovery. Now you're hitting muscle groups two times out of the week. For me, anytime I hit my muscles anywhere from one to two times a week, that's pretty good. Sometimes I notice when I train my muscles two to three times a week, that can result to injuries for me. So I really try to keep the volume low, or sometimes I may only train that muscle once a week, or I may train it twice a week. So the split regimen is definitely something that I recommend. And then you have a full workout regimen where you're training your entire body three days out of the week. Higher frequencies of training can lead to optimizing protein synthesis, which can really help develop those muscles throughout the week. And also by doing the split routine, this is gonna enable you to have high quality sets because you'll be able to focus in each and every day on different body parts. The split routine regimen allows you to focus in on different parts of your body and you can really focus and make sure your form is perfect. But when you do a bro split, you're gonna be doing 12 to 16 sets each session. Doing 12 to 16 sets for one muscle group, if we're doing chest, for example, after a while, that could really break down your form. Both of aren't always the best because it can, it can be kind of taxing on your form. So the split routine regimen will allow you to focus more on your technique and your form and also allow you to narrow on those muscles for more muscle growth and muscle development. Now I haven't talked a bunch about the full body routine regimen, but you know this is something that I highly recommend for beginners. When I started playing football in high school, my trainer had me doing full body workout routines and I like this. It allows for great recovery because you're typically going to do one day on and one day off. And this is great for beginners, especially if you're new to the gym. You don't want to make too much of a time commitment and I highly recommend this for beginners. With your full body workout routines, it's gonna allow you to put a lot of compound lifts into your training. So compound lifts are lifts that train multiple muscle groups. So if you're doing bench, you're gonna be in your chest, your shoulders, your triceps. If you're doing barbell squats or deadlifts, you're gonna be hitting your, you know, your quads, your glutes. You know, especially on the deadlifts, you'll be hitting your entire posterior chain. So compound lifts are, are really key. And by doing these full body movements, you can really focus in and just get better at those movements. And that can be an element of progressive overload by increasing the weight on those compound lifts. That's gonna allow you to get noticeably stronger. So I highly recommend this. And you know, for those of us who like to turn up, you know, who like to have a good time, I really recommend this. You know, you could do a Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday routine, or even if you want to do, you could do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday routine, and then just take the rest of the week off. And you know, maybe just go for a walk. And that way you can still have a life outside. You can still enjoy your weekends. You can still party. This is something that I was able to do, especially growing up, you know, being able to have a good time and still be able to stay in shape and get that workout in. So this could be very helpful. Also by doing a full body routine three times a week, this can allow for great muscle growth because remember we talk about volume and sets. So obviously for me, training a muscle group once a week may not always give me the muscle growth that I want. Training it twice a week may give me the muscle growth that I want, but it could, but it's hard for me to recover sometimes in a, in a split, in a workout split routine. But by doing a full body regimen routine where I'm training my muscles three times a week and I'm only doing a couple of sets per each muscle group each session, that's gonna allow me to get more recovery, and that's gonna also allow more muscle growth. The frequency that I'm using to hit these muscle groups, so we're hitting these muscle groups three times a week, so this can really promote a lot of good muscle growth. But right now, when you first start training your legs, you wanna start from just doing about three sets a week. So you don't wanna come and do it a bunch of volumes, training, doing 20 sets of legs, for the week. You could do three sets of barbell squats, 
three sets of deadlifts and four sets of lunges. That's 10 sets right there. So you can start there and then each week or gradually you can progress your, you can increase your sets. You don't typically wanna do more than 16 sets a week because that's, that's too much overkill on the body. And also as far as training guys, you, you can start off just training a muscle group once per week and then eventually incorporate it, go two, three, four, five, six days a week. So like now I train six days a week, but if you're a beginner, if you're just getting started, you know, three days, two to three days a week is more than enough to really help promote muscle growth. Your training should be based on how consistent you can be. Yes, I'll train six days a week, but sometimes that can be really challenging for me and I may miss the sixth day. So now I'm actually really considering dropping down to five days a week because I know I can at least be consistent with five days a week. It's all about being consistent, guys. Don't try to do something that's impossible. Don't say, okay, I'm gonna train five days a week knowing that that's not something you could do. If you, if you can only train two days a week, I would rather have it be consistent to say, hey, you know what, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, those are my two training days. So really focus on consistency. Okay guys, so listen, we're about to head over to the gym. I'm making up with my boy Johnny B and I'm gonna show you guys this crazy back workout. Stay tuned. We're trying to develop back because Evo said he wanted a bigger back, so I threw him thrown him to one of my better back workouts. It's a lot of volumes, a lot of pull downs. So we're, what we're starting with is five sets of 20. Then we're gonna do close grips with probably another set of 15, five of 15. And then we're gonna do some rowing. Well, we're gonna start with some cables, then dumbbells. It's gonna be pretty crazy today. He's gonna he's gonna go through it, so Jeez! Hey man, that was crazy work. Hey listen, I wanna put the weight down, but I ain't gonna quit on my boy. I had to keep working, man. We gotta grow that back. I said I wanna get the back big, so we gotta get it. Um, I am pretty exhausted, but you gotta keep going, you know. Even when it gets tough, you gotta force yourself to go through it. So like, so we did a wide grip first, and then we did, um, and also we did a close grip to target the middle of our back, the upper middle part of our back. And be like just below the uh, traps. Hey man, listen man, I know y'all see the pump, but I ain't gonna quit, man. It's a crazy workout. I ain't giving up, man. We gotta get it. Hey man, we working, man. I had to strap up because the workout, the workout getting real. Jay will talk about we got nine exercises, crazy volume. But the only way you're gonna grow is if you lift that weights, guys. You're not gonna grow unless you really lift heavier weights. You can't be in the gym lifting lightweight, feeling comfortable. You gotta really push yourself. Like it's times where I don't know if I'm gonna get every, I don't know if I'm gonna get all 12 of my reps, but I'm gonna make sure I push myself and go get it. All right, cool. So this is our second rowing motion. We're gonna do. Uh, they usually, I usually call them lawnmowers, but it's a uh, bent over. Uh, dumbbell rows. This is gonna target the middle of your back if you want to get more thickness in your back. Because before we just did the seated cable row, so now we're gonna finish off with the heavy dumbbell rows. So stay tuned. So the seated rows also hit the uh, target the middle of your back as well. So we're just doing a lot of volume to get more girth and thickness in the back. I had a really good friend that I used to be stationed with, and he's basically like my training partner. So like. You know how like some people have a gym buddy, basically like a training partner is someone that will help you push yourself through a certain workout. Like let's say you go alone to the gym and you're gonna do like a set amount of reps or something. Um, if you're by yourself, sometimes you'll just be like, oh, I'm not really feeling this today, I won't do this. But with the training partner, they'll be there to be like, nah, bro, you got five extra reps. They're gonna help force you through if it's a machine or someone to spot you and bench. And also, it'll help you get stronger, so definitely, Try to find a training partner, someone that can help you push yourself through these workouts. Yes, guys, it's very important to have a training partner because Jay Bull was telling me about this workout. He said, We're about to be in the gym. Like, get ready for the workout because it's going to be crazy. And it's been that. We're working right now, but we staying at it, man. We got to push ourselves, man. We got to get better. So, if you need a training partner, man, get a training partner or get a trainer. Get whatever you need to get that working. Let's get back to this workout. Woo! 
yes sir guys hey, amen the workout was crazy i know y'all saw the back workout we was really pushing today we had a lot of volume i will put that underneath the bro split category because after you do a back workout like that you don't need to hit back again for the rest of the week we did a ton of volume we did we definitely did over 20 sets and you know we kept the intensity high and sometimes you have days like that where you really just push yourself to really build your muscle you know one boy johnny b we talked about a bunch of different workout regimen routine that you guys can implement you know we have our bro split we have our split workout routine and we have our full body lift i highly recommend you know the bro split is good if you're a beginner and you know you have a little bit of time but i think the best workout regimen that I recommend is doing the full body workout, especially when you're trying to get into fitness. That's a good three day routine. You can hit frequency and you can hit these muscle groups three times a week. So I highly recommend that. The workout split that I do is the split workout routine where I really target, you know, I have my glute and hamstring day, I have my glute and quad day, I have my chest day, and I really focus on each muscle, but that's more for advanced. And that involves you being in the gym five to six days a week at least. So I highly recommend, you know, having that. And make sure you have one day of recovery so you want to be in the gym five to six days and then you know make sure you have that one day of recovery but yes guys so i highly recommend if you're a beginner you want to start anywhere from the bro split to the to the full body workout routine and then eventually work your way up and start doing having split days start small guys even if you just do two days of full body for the week you do tuesday thursday you can slowly start to build up having two days having three days having four days having five days guys so yes guys those are the workout split routines. Make a plan and get right. And if you don't know what to do in the gym, man, make sure y'all check out my fitness ebook. It's a free fitness ebook. All you have to do is email me the word ebook at contactperformance.gmail.com. It's an at home workout routine. It's going to get you right, guys. It's going to give you meal plan, step count options, and we locked in. So listen, man, it's amazing stuff, man. Keep working. I hope those routines were very helpful. Definitely implement that and go to the gym with a plan and stop winging it in life. A lot of y'all winging it in life and winging it with the workout routine. Have a plan, man. Go into the gym, attack it, and you'll get the body you want. As usual, man, make sure y'all subscribe. Hit that notification button. CP Nation, we out.